there's a microphone there. Is there any other microphone, or is that the only one? That's the one. Um, so, what, 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 uh, first of all, I should, um, uh, you know, this is, um, you are well known, at least, at least in some circles, as a video essayist. Uh, and if you all have not seen his video essays, they're extraordinary. If you go to, to your website, which is your uh, .com, um, uh you can see essays on, on uh, Ozu and Bresson and Godard and Linklater. And, and uh, you know, I, I, if you're the sort of person whose eyes glaze over at the thought of a, of a video essay, I can assure you these are just, these are extraordinarily dynamic um, and, um, and uh, thrillingly edited and, and will really make you think a lot about form. So I, I would recommend checking that out as like supplementary viewing because it's, it's terrific stuff. Um, but I was curious, um, you know, it was, there, was there anything that sort of carried over? You edited this film, so, so, so that, that must have carried, that experience of the USA is must have carried over to, to, to this. Uh, what else did, and then what, where, where did you, you feel like there was kind of sort of a learning curve for you? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it was great. I knew that I was gonna get to edit, so it did allow me for, to say, yeah, we don't need it, because in my head I knew that I, I, I would probably just stay on that. And throughout the film, you know, like the knowing that I was going to piece it together really helped us make decisions really quickly and I was kind of re-editing, you know, uh, shots in my head. Um, and, and then, you know, those pieces that I do are very much about uh, form and the relationship to cinema. You know, uh, and you know, some of, some of those are just my, you know, are, there's no lesson to be, you know, I, I didn't, I'm, none of those are about like trying to teach anything. It's, it's really about me trying to exercise certain kinds of uh, forms that I'm, I'm thinking about or that I know that a director is obsessed with and so I feel obsessed with, with what, what, they're, where, what they're playing around with. So I have always sort of, um, yeah, and that's always been important to me. But not form for form's sake or something that feels really alienating, but just I think that question. So like that definitely I came into the filmmaking process and but you know, like I had never worked with actors, you know, and so I think that defined I think everyone felt like, oh, he might do something visually interesting, but how is he gonna do with actors? And I didn't know, honestly, you know, but it turned out to be like one of my favorite things, you know. So yeah. yeah. Good question. Hi, thanks for being here. A really, really good film. Um, one thing I was curious about is just, uh, I guess, closer to the beginning of the film, there was a few conversations that John had either with on the phone or maybe just with himself in Korean, I assume. And I was just wondering why um, you chose not to use subtitles for what I assume might have been key conversations or not. Yeah, you know, because. Um, there are two reasons. One is that, you know, I knew that there the sort of like, I wanted to play with absence uh, just as a sort of uh, formal de device. And so, you know, like there, I knew that they would never go into, we would never get to see that hospital room, you know, that there would never be a scene there and uh, that there would be times where you wouldn't hear them talk or, you know, or that there would be times where they would be talking to someone and that you wouldn't see who they're talking to. And in this case, uh, and I mean, I have reasons I mean, uh, why I felt like that was important, but, uh, and, and the same with like what we're expecting to, to know what he's saying. And I, I wanted us to deal with not knowing that. And also because in real life, you know, you don't get to know what uh, someone is saying if you don't speak their language. And so I wanted to, um, yeah, keep it, keep it that way. Thanks. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a beautiful, beautiful film. Um, I just had a question about the costumes. I love the costumes. How did those um, meetings go? Like, did you have an idea of what you wanted the characters to be wearing, or was that mostly the costumers coming in with ideas? Yeah, Emily was really great. And no, we, we talked about that quite a bit. Um, and then she, you know, the process is usually, you know, I, I had a, a definite idea about, um, you know, like what they would be wearing, the colors, and, and all of that. And then she had her own ideas, as well. not her own ideas, but she had ways to kind of that she envisioned that, and then gave me a kind of board of, of like possibility. So um, yeah, it was a real good collaboration. She was great at that. Yeah. Thank you for being here for my 
thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, earlier in the film, uh, Jen, or Casey was treating Jen for one of her favorite buildings, and uh, he asked what the moves are about it, and her reaction was muted. Um, I wanted to ask you how uh, that decision, how does that uh, relate to Casey's character arc that we're about to see in the rest of the film? Mm. That's a great question. And uh, my, my, the, the, uh, what I'm wrestling with is like, uh, would it be good to answer that, you know, completely, you know, because uh, I don't know if it would be. But it was, you know, I will say that they didn't know that I was going to, you know, uh, that we were going to hear that, that they did have dialogue there. Um, but I knew, you know, and it was confirmed when I was editing, you know, because I, I had an idea of, um, of what we're ready to hear and what, what matters anyway in that conversation, you know, in regard to that. So, um, yeah, so I would say that it matters, you know, but uh, maybe, the, maybe the content of it isn't as, as important as, she, as, as we're seeing a young person who's starting to kind of be awakened to, in, in her case, you know, uh, architecture, in my case, cinema, you know, I mean, in some ways, Casey, that, that's a real part. like, Casey is, is definitely me at a certain time, kind of desperate time to need, you know, and, and, and finding some space to breathe and move, and the, the great thing about art is, like, I think if one thing moves you, you, should, you become receptive to other part, you know, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. That was a beautiful film. And um, I wanted to say that um, as someone who has a, a had a fraught mother-daughter relationship, it was very relatable, so it was wonderful. Um, I didn't, I'm a bit of a score junkie, and I, I did catch the name of the score composer at the end, yeah. um, but I was wondering if you could tell me the name, yeah. also how you sort of decided on the sound that you would go with for the movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, first of all, I'm glad you said that about mother daughters. You know, I uh, I'm surrounded by really like daughters that carry the weight of family. My oldest sister, but it's like someone who bears that uh, uh, every day. And my wife, you know, we moved to Nashville a few years ago, so she could take care of her father. Um, and there is a way in which I think daughters feel the weight of their family in ways that are so. And I think sons feel it, but I think daughters are, like to me, they're like, they, they, uh, yeah, the way they absorb family and feel responsible is something to behold. And, I, I, and so that, that was important to me. I, I think that's, uh, yeah. Anyway, all that to say, um, the music is by Hammock, um, and, uh, you know, I kind of knew that I wanted something that was, would blend with the environment quite a bit. And uh, I had heard about uh, and had heard their music, and um, you know, throughout like the people I was talking to, I was like, you know, I the, you know, thematically, I wanted to explore absence of presence, and I was thinking about him again. And I found an interview, and they were like, people were like, what are you exploring? Like, we're trying to explore absence and presence. <laughs> so I got a hold of them, and I was like, listen, you know, they had never done it, and they were like, yeah, let's do it. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. There are many aspects of the film that I appreciated, and I'm going to try and I'm going to somewhat feedback. On, uh, I just want to commend you on the collaboration with Hammock. Uh, there is a lot of absence of sound in uh, or music in the movie as well. Can you talk about uh, maybe the like collaboration with Hammock or your? Uh, intention of just letting us hear footsteps, rain, water, wind. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, that was, um, I, and you guys are great. These are the best questions ever. Um, <laughs> they really are. Um, but yeah, I, um, you know, one of our conversations was uh, that um, the everyday sounds would be, be the music, you know, and, uh, and any way we could. Uh, have the rhythm and the kind of uh, the music of everyday uh, life, uh, the better. And you know, even to the point of, of um, we, uh, I, I was really, again, so fortunate throughout this whole process that we did the sound design at um, 
Skywalker, and they're obsessed with uh, with sound. They're really that's their art form, and they were so delighted to for it to be something like a kind of symphony. You know, we talked about like there's a kind of a symphony of sounds in this little town. There's something that's both industrial, but also like you know this mix of nature. And then we asked Manic to not overtake that, but to try to kind of build music that was textured around that, you know. And yeah, that, that was the, the struggle. Yeah, it's complimented really well. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Yeah, you guys are, you know, whenever they do a screening like this, people are always so generous to the filmmaker. I remember sitting, uh, and, and, you know, and, and sometimes maybe not liking a film, but realizing that everyone's generous, because you would never say, like, go, oh, hopefully no one comes out and says, I, you know. But I'm Those sure the questioner's coming yeah, up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm sure there are people who are sitting there and they're like, yeah, it's not so great. And that's fine. <laughs> Just don't come up here. And, 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 it's completely fine. I, I, I definitely sat there and maybe I thought that myself. <laughs>